Goodbye. No, 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 no. Oh, how does it still have ammo left? Brrr. Just keep shooting. And there it is. Mastery completed for the X13 auto. That is 31 out of 51 for the Ultra Mastery. How am I just now finding out there's an inspection animation for the underbarrel launchers here in Modern Warfare 2? That's kind of interesting. Today, we're back using the Cronin Squirrel for two separate reasons. One, they finally fixed the headshot challenge so we can go ahead, unlock the polyatomic camo, which will unlock the Orion camo. Then we'll be done with every weapon and we'll be ready for season three reloaded. But on top of that, and more importantly, there's actually a hidden tracer blueprint for this that most people don't know about. And no, I'm not talking about the anime blueprint that comes in the bundle. I'm talking about a different one that's part of the battle pass. There's actually three different tracer blueprints in the battle pass. One of them you get for getting the black cell battle pass that everyone knows about. It's the one with the crazy effects that we made a short on. However, However, there's two other tracer blueprints that are secret hidden blueprints that they don't talk about they never mentioned and it doesn't even show in the menu in game if you look at these blueprints they don't say anything about having these tracer effects you just take them in game they've got special impact effects and they've got different hit marker effects and it it didn't mention it you thought i thought they would have said something about that before people bought the battle pass to kind of advertise it but no come on headshot oh there we go flash headshot perfect so if you bought the battle pass there's two tracer blueprints you have that you probably don't know about and one of them's for the cronin squirrel and one of them's for the intervention after this game's over we'll go ahead and put one of the blueprints on but for the meantime we need to go ahead and start getting headshots because we got to get 25 headshots for this bad boy to start unlocking the camos and that was not one that was a headshot that was not thank you very much sir oh you thought you'd slide could save you could not Oh, 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 we got six bolts in a dream. Should I reload? Nah, we're not going to do it. I, I can get it. I can do it with these six. I can do it. Trust me. Trust, trust, trust. Let's go with one bolt to spare, baby. There we go. Headshot, baby. Come on. Okay, not the greatest aim. So we are currently one month into our controller only grind. Since season three's dropped, I have only been on controller. So that's why my movement at the start of the season was terrible. It's getting better, but it's still not great. But we're slowly getting there and I'm committed. We're pretty much only going to be using controller at least for COD from this point on because it's just, it's so much better, bro. Boom, headshot. Oh, headshot. Get 10 operator kills in a single or get 10 operator kills in a single match. I don't know what it said, but we got some sort of challenging calling card unlocked. But right now, the biggest thing I'm struggling with on controller is getting kills at longer ranges. We're slowly getting there, but it's definitely noticeably. Yeah. Ooh, actually, hold on. Hold on. Moment of truth. Prove ourselves. Get another headshot on this dude. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Clearly go to name, but we'll get there. Few more seasons in and it's going to be a massive improvement. Okay, so now let's put on the first secret hidden effect blueprint and it's going to be this one right here. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that. It's the lot. Yeah, it's this one right here. Go ahead, equip it. You can even see it is an animated weapon. It's got cool stuff going along the lines, but if you read any of this on screen at no point anywhere on this screen, does it say it comes with any sort of tracers, any sort of special effects? Usually they'll have icons here. This doesn't have any of that. Let's go ahead, put a camo on it because, you know, we, we're going to rock camos. Ooh, I actually look sick with the camo and we're currently only 10 headshots away. And boom, now that we're in game, we can take a look at the blueprint. The blueprint itself does look very clean. I love this kind of animation style where it pretty much covers up with the camo and then the camo goes away. That's probably going to look fantastic with the polyatomic camo. And it's got a scorpion on the side. So the type of tracers this weapon has doesn't show if you shoot so right now we're shooting you can see there's no special impact effects there's no special tracers up in the sky actually is that no that's just that's just the normal color of a bullet what happens with this there's two special effects one happens when you take out the enemy there's a death effect and there's also a special impact effect when you shoot an enemy so for this we've got to find an enemy hopefully someone who's camping in a corner or afk because i want to show you the custom hit marker effect it has and not just the death effect all right so here we go bada bing bada boom can you okay well that little bit too far away to notice anything oh so here we go and oh you saw okay you could kind of see it a little bit far away so you didn't get to see the hit marker effect we need to find someone who's a little bit closer Ooh, headshot effect okay once again we might have to go to a private match to test this we're getting headshots though Oh, okay. You can kind of see it. Okay. Well, after this game, we'll take it to a private match and get some better footage, but you can definitely see there is something special going on with this weapon. It does have special effects and it clearly wasn't labeled. Oh, we got a pet Wally. Let's go call him in and I'm gonna let him do his own thing. I trust him. So I'm gonna have him autopilot. I love that. You can just let him autopilot do their own thing. Oh, oh, he's just camping. He's just camping. Got the headshot. Let's go, baby. Give me those tokens that I no longer need, but I'll take anyway. Thank you, please. 
Where'd we go? Oh, there we go. Headshot. You know what's the worst part about grinding with the Cronin Scroll right now? The Ultra Mastery challenges for this weapon are still broken. So I don't have the 100 kills with gold. Don't have any of the kills with platinum. None of it tracked. There's nothing you can do with this weapon. That was a good look at the effect there. That's actually really interesting. Another headshot. So unfortunately, even though we're getting a bunch of kills with this weapon, none of it's going to count. We're only going to be able to get the Polyatomic. That was the only thing that was fixed. The Ultra Mastery stuff still broken yeah the wilson pretty much does nothing you can send him off on his own but i've realized the wilson will get like at most one kill if you do that i mean it's the thought that counts i honestly i just call him the wilson to have a friend it's not that i really want him to do anything it's just i'm kind of lonely i got no one to grind with and the wilson keeps me company it's mainly just a pet thing he's like he's like my friend bro don't knock on him i mean he's trying his best we're getting him there eventually he'll be usable but right now right now he's just he's just a friend polyatomic unlocked dude that logo looks so clean i am a little upset that i'll never get to see what the orion one looks like because we'll never unlock orion again even though we technically just unlocked it okay it looks clean with polyatomic i love that gold accent and then the red comes and then it just switches back to poly this is a nice looking blueprint but more importantly let's test out the hit marker effect so when you shoot an enemy that's what displays if you have a little hit marker effect like that you get the almost digital effect is what you see and it's almost like a honeycomb digital effect for the death effect so here we go again there's the hit marker effect so very very interesting and let's do a hit fire kill let's get a better better look at the death effect that is so, i don't even know what i would call that they don't name it in the game they don't even list that these weapons come with this death effect but they just have it which is very weird and interesting now the other weapon that comes in the battle pass that has these hidden effects is for the fjx imperium are the intervention and it's the really cool looking one it's the one that's got like the oil spool tiger on it and if you put camos on it you still gonna see it so it looks sick once again if you look at it at no point anywhere here does it say it has any sort of special effects or anything like that going on and it's notable because you can't even buy an intervention there's no bundle that includes any sort of tracers for the intervention at this point in time unfortunately once again we can't really work too much on the mastery because the mastery for this does seem to track however it's still showing the the tip is torrent for the calling cards and this charm is a charm that comes in another bundle so this is still broken just like the cronin squirrel i love the way this weapon looks instead of being like a red tiger or a blue tiger it's an oil spill tiger and the way it works with camos is so great this is the platinum camo on it probably looks amazing with polyatomic and orion as well but now what we're here to see let's see the elimination effect it should have I don't think it's any different than the Cronin Squirrel, but we'll still give it a shot that we couldn't tell. Yeah, it was the same comb effect. However, you were really able to tell even at a farther range with this. Unfortunately, I'm not that great at sniping on controller yet. Something we'll we'll get to eventually. Yeah, I think I think it's the same effect. I don't think it changes. Oh, there we go. This site should help us see it a little bit better when we finally do get a kill at a closer range. Yeah, there we go. So it is the exact same elimination effect that we saw in the Cronin Squirrel. The unfortunate part, the reason you might have been using this and not even realized it had the elimination effects, these work like any other weapon. If you change the ammo type, if you put the explosive to make it, you know, a one-shot headshot in Warzone or DMZ, you're going to lose that special effect. There was some other heat blueprints in the battle pass as well. This one's for the ISO Hemlock. It's got a bunch of really cool stuff that shows up when you put camos on it. It does come with this crazy scope, but obviously you can take this off. No one really talked about how good this battle pass was because it was kind of outshined with the whole black cell battle pass that's all anyone was talking about but compared to like season one and two the season three battle pass what you got for just buying the normal version was way better we got those two tracer blueprints you got a bunch of other really cool looking blueprints this one right here is the iso hemlock it's got some cool stuff on it but you can see when you put polyatomic on this one bro look at that it's a really cool looking version of polyatomic and this is another blueprint that came in the battle pass yeah once again i'm not a huge fan of the the big old scope it has on it goes from iron sight to sco oh that's that's an interesting Ooh, it's one extreme to the other you can either have you know like a crazy 12 times or like just iron sights bada bing bada boom the site's not too bad on it all right the site the site's all right however the only reason it really works is because the iso hemlock has like negative 10 recoil this thing is an absolute laser oh there we go 300 kills while using the polyatomic camo on the iso hemlock almost done with this just 400 more kills with orion on it Ooh, come on come on come on come on the build for this is also pretty good as well what is this called again this is what is the name of this the bass p how did i not know this this also got a recent buff so it's pretty 
pretty good. But yeah, obviously this thing's gonna be a little bit better here on shipment. Oh, oh, there we go. There's 300 kills with the polyatomic camo. These right here are the only weapon I have a class with that I'm actually able to make progress for the Ultra Mastery with. I have to leave the game if I wanna do it because you can't apply camos mid game. All right, so now let me show you where you get those special tracer weapons in the battle pass. Like I said, you don't need the Black Cell Battle Pass to get that. The only special items you get for getting the Black Cell Battle Pass are the only special blueprint you get is this Singularity Blueprint, which we've tested out in-game. Yes, this does have special tracers, special death effects, all that stuff. I did make a short on it. You can see a little bit of footage in the background now. It's not the craziest thing ever. It is pretty sick, but this one you can clearly see had those icons. However, the other ones that we were testing in this video, you get once you complete the battle pass, once you unlock 100%, get all the tiers. That's where you get the intervention that's got the special effects. And once again, it doesn't say it anywhere in here. That's where you also get the Cronin Squirrel with the special effects. Once again, doesn't advertise that it comes with them, but I guarantee you once you get them, try them in game, it is going to have those special impact effects. The other blueprints we got were the different rewards here. I'm not going to go through. You guys, If you guys want to see wherever the ISO Hemlock is, I'm sure you guys can find that on your own. It's not that difficult. We could probably find it. Yeah, actually, I'm struggling to find it. Okay, never mind. Apparently, it is kind of hard. Where, where is it? How am I being defeated by a battle pass? How am I being defeated by a battle pass? Where it? There we go. There it is. That's where the ISO Hemlock was, right there's the, yeah, that's what it looks like without camos. The Bass P was over here, you, you, you find it on your own. It, it's does, that's not important where it's at. I really hope this wasn't a one-time thing. When season four comes out, hopefully the blueprints are just as cool and have the same level of detail. And hopefully for the normal battle pass people, the people who didn't buy the Black Cell battle pass, hopefully there's a few weapons with special effects as well. Yes, obviously they're probably gonna have a Black Cell exclusive blueprint with, you know, the special camos and tracers and stuff. But the normal battle pass should also have a few like we saw this time. This was common practice back during Cold War. During Cold War, the final blueprint of the season when you max out the battle pass usually had animations, was usually either reactive or it had, you know, tracers and all that cool stuff. So it was kind of disappointing where season one and season two didn't have any cool stuff like that. But with that, guys, we're going to go ahead and wrap up this video. Let me know if you knew about these effects already or if this is news to you and now you get to go in game and try out Two new weapons with special tracer effects that you had no idea about before watching this video because i feel like so few people know about this a couple of you guys have mentioned to me but for the most part it seems to be just kind of under the wraps and was outshined by all the black cell stuff but there are a few cool weapons that came in the normal battle pass thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next one peace